Before analyzing humidity and moisture content of solids, it's very important to understand the psychrometric chart. And this is essentially a chart which relates humidity of air with respect to the ambient air. So this is at one atmosphere. And what you want to know is the percentage or relative percentage of humidity. 10 to 30% will be considered dry, such as a desert and so on, will imply that anything uh, liquid will typically tend to go to the gas phase, to the air as moisture content for the air. You were between the 30 and 60%, that will be a common uh, place to be. That means that you are not that dry and not that humid. And very humid places on Earth, maybe 70% up to 90% will be extremely, extremely very humid. Maybe even at 80 and 90%, you can take out a a towel, a wet towel, and if you do not have contact with the sunlight, it will remain damp, humid all day long. So this is very important to consider, guys, that this might be a limitation, especially if you are using air from the atmosphere for your operation. Now, how does this work? Well, essentially, you have the temperature of the air from minus 10 Celsius to 50 Celsius. Most likely, you're going to operate from 10 Celsius to 30, 35 Celsius. You also have wet bulb temperature, which is the temperature you will get when the bulb is humid. You got also enthalpy right here. You got also specific volume that occupies the dry air. And you will get the humidity ratio. How many grams of water do you have per kilogram of dry air? So actually you will say, maybe let's, let's give an example. Let's say we are at 30 Celsius right now. And we know that the humidity level, you go to your barometer and you read it's about 60%. So 30 Celsius, 60% will have a composition of 60 grams of water per kilogram of air, just to consider in your calculations. And you can do the same for energy calculations. How much must I apply in order to get the enthalpy calculations? How much heat must I apply in order to evaporate certain amount of water and so on?